Yeah, that way. Yeah. Big Dad go get it on Macy Gray. Yeah. Raindrops. Yeah. Drop top. Drop top. Smoking on cook in the hot box. Cookie. Fucking on your bitch, you thought, thought, thought. Cooking a poop in the crop. So welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to host your Code Igniter project using Zero Zero Web Host. So first, go to Zero Zero Web Host. Click this. Click on Sign In button. If you do not have account, you can log in with Facebook, Google, or you can either do it via sign up. So I all already have an account. So, for first time, you need to create website, new site here. It's because I already created my site. I just create that. For to this, I will use this website because I already created. Click on manage website. Click on the tools button. Click on the database manager. Click on new database. You can set your own name and username. So in this case, in this case I will use this. So you need to save these details because it will be used later. Just copy it. Click on create. So after you create it, click on manage and click on PHP my add. As you can see, our database is created. So what you need is to export your own SQL from your code igniter project. So to do this, let me show you. Go on localhost, PHP my admin, and select the SQL that you want to export. Click on the export button and just click go. Save file. So this is it. Go back to the PHP my admin. Click on the table. Click import. Click on browse. Select the SQL that you don't know like. Let go. So that success. There's no error in importing our database. After this, go back here. Click File Manager. Click upload files and go to your code igniter project select the project and then 
make this as a zip zip file on after that you need to upload it here public html double click then paste it here click upload So it's done. Just extract it. Right click and extract. And set. To click close. And go back to CS0 by post. As you can see, you can add. You can view your website yet I show you then type the site name which is this backslash then site name this hit enter as you can see this is a database error so we will so go back here, go to database manager, copy this db name, db user, db host. Save it here. Also the password. Click on change, then copy this, then go back to file manager, double click public HTML, go to your app, go to Ignite project, application, config, right click on database, click on edit. Then replace the username, database, and password. Hostname is already localhost. And the username. Database name. password set this to equals equals check again so you see it's working